Hey everybody, for today's drawing, we're gonna be working on a stegosaurus, another dinosaur. When we use our papers today, we're gonna to fold it into um, eight different squares. So we'll fold like we've normally been doing, straight across, give a good crease. Good. And then we're gonna fold it one more time up, give it a good crease. And then we're gonna fold this right in half. That way when you open it, you're gonna have eight different squares. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Instead of working this way, we're gonna turn it again landscape. My dinosaur is gonna be walking across my page here. All right. Remember, I'll be using a marker today, so there are a couple of lines that I won't be able to erase, and if you're using a pencil, that you will be able to erase. So we're gonna start with his body. His body is gonna be a circle, and it's gonna start over here on these last two pages, just barely on those folds, and it's gonna come around into this third fold over here and back around. So when I start, into my third folds, I'm gonna come back up and just barely into those first folds and connect. So he's got a nice big body. Good, now the stegosaurus is the one that has the big long tail. So we're gonna work on his tail coming outward. So I'm gonna start up here near this, um, where this, the curve and the circle meet my um, paper and I'm gonna curve outward. So I'm gonna kind of go down across that third fold and then over into the last one, I'm gonna curve it up. So we're gonna make a point here for his tail. So he's gonna have a really wide tail. So how I started kind of here at the top of my circle, I'm gonna come down here near the bottom, very close to where that fold meets my curve. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go diagonal up into this corner here and then all the way up, give it a curve so it touches that last line that we drew. There's his big long tail. Now if you're using a pencil, you can erase that line there. That way it looks like his tail and his body connect. And then his head is gonna be coming out this way. So I'm gonna start here where um, I've got the corner fold and then where my line meets, I'm gonna just come downward a little bit into that bottom fold half. And then we're gonna go up into a little curve. That's gonna be the top of his head. And then we're gonna give him a little nose. So I'm gonna curve out and around, a little hook. And then we're gonna curve back around. Big smile, that's the bottom of his head. And then we're gonna curve back inward. And right after that fold there, I'm gonna stop because we're gonna add his leg in there. So his legs are gonna start inside his body, almost near this middle fold of our paper, and they're gonna curve down. So outside of his body. So I'm gonna start in the inside of his body and I'm gonna start right here by that curve, like I have a fold. And I'm gonna curve down to his body outside of it and all the way down. So I went just over this fold here and then I stopped. And then we'll do the back side of his leg. So we're gonna start it right here where his tail meets his body. And we're gonna curve down and stop and then we're going to curve back so he's got a little knee bend back there on his back leg now this one went past this first mark that i made because it gives me room to do a little hook for his foot so i'm going to start here at this back line curve forward over that crease a tiny bit and then touch right here near the edge you want to leave a little bit of a mark so it looks like he's got a foot bend right there so an ankle Good, and then we'll work on his um, back leg. It's on the other side of his body, so it's gonna be hidden behind this leg. So we're just gonna add a little curve back here. And then touch it to that line. So he's got two back legs. One of them's just hiding on the other side. And then we'll come up here and work on his front leg. So this one's gonna start up here where we, start, we stopped his um, neckline. We're gonna come up just a tiny bit and we're gonna curve down so a nice diagonal line 
that touches and it's got right in the middle of his neck. And then we're gonna come down. Good job, the front of his leg. And then we're gonna come inside of his body, right under that fold there. And we're gonna curve down outside of his body. I'm gonna go past that line that I drew before so I have room again for his foot. And then I'm just gonna give that little hook, connect his foot to his leg. And again, he's got the little line there that's coming off that gives him an ankle look. And then we'll do the same thing for his back leg here in the front. So it's not, it's not gonna be visible to us. It's just gonna be a little line there that's on the other side. So I'm gonna start up here by his body. Curve down and give a hook there. There's his other leg. Now, if you were using a pencil today, you can erase this line here for his body. That way it looks like his neck and his leg all connect. Same thing with this back leg. You can erase this line here. That may, it looks like this one connects. If you're not using a marker, if you're using a marker or something that you can't erase, that's fine. You can just color over it later. Good. So now that we have most of his body, we're gonna go up here and just give him an eye really quick. So I'm gonna give him almost a sideways uppercase D and then a little circle. So there's his eye. And then around his back, he has these spikes. So we're gonna add some lines that, that help us to know where our spikes should go. So I'm gonna start here on his tail and I'm just gonna give a little spike up and then I'm gonna move over a little bit closer to his body, again on his tail, and give a spike up. Good, and then on his body, up a little bit taller, and then we'll move over to the tiny bit, and we'll do one in the middle of his back that goes up a little bit higher. And then our lines are gonna start coming down. So they're gonna get shorter and shorter again as we get closer to his head. So I give him one more here. And then we'll come down in this curve a little bit and go out. And then we're gonna do one more that's close here to where his neck and his body meet and go out. So now he's got his spikes. Now what we're gonna do is add a little um, petal shape around it. That way it looks like a spike. So I'm gonna start back over here. And from that point, I'm just going to curve down towards his body on both sides. Same thing with this next one. Curve down from that point where it touches his body on both sides. Next one, give a good curve. There we go. And then this next one. Keep going. And the last one. All right, now that we've got all of the main spikes, we're gonna add the ones that go in between. So that same curve shape is just not gonna have a spike coming up from his back. I'll show you, we'll start here at this one, curve up, and then we'll curve down. So he's got a spike that's kind of connecting the two of those. And we'll do that all in between here. That way it connects all of our spikes. And this last one here. There we go, there's just spiky back. And then we're gonna add a couple of spikes on his tail. So it's kind of gonna be those um, moon or banana shapes. So I'm gonna start here um, where I have a little bit of space to add a couple of them. And I'm gonna curve up and out and back down. I'll do that one more time, curve back up and back down. And then one last one, curve up and back down and touch the tip of his tail. So he's got some spikes there now. Good, and then we're gonna give him a background. Um, so he's gonna have um, a line that goes all the way across. It looks like he's walking on the land. So I'm just gonna draw a nice squiggle line, doesn't matter, or it can be straight if you want. All the way across, there we go. So his feet are below that line that makes it look like he's walking, he's not just floating in the air, he's walking on the ground. 
Good, and then back here in this space, I'm gonna do a little bitty mountain. You could also make it a volcano if you wanted. So I'm gonna start here off my page, curve up, a little bit of a wiggle, and come to my point, and start working my way back down. And I'm gonna stop here at his leg, where it looks like his leg is kind of in the front of that corner there. And then I'm gonna add some um, wiggle lines up here at the top that you could make into snow or lava, your choice. Depends if you're making a mountain or a volcano. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna add some detail in um, the ground that he's walking on. We're gonna add some rocks. So they can be all different shapes. Got a flat bottom there. This one will kind of be a, a peanut shape. Maybe a oval there. There we go. And we'll Circle, maybe a bigger one over here. And there you are. You could even add some detail up here in the in the corners. You could add a sun, you could add clouds, you could add birds, you could add trees in the background. It's up to you. And your last job is to color. You guys did a wonderful job. Thank you for drawing with me today.